اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to use ChatGPT to write the conclusion for a study. Let's assume I conducted a study on the relationship of university social responsibility and university performance with the mediating role of service quality, student satisfaction, university reputation and student trust. And these were my results. Now the ingredients for this conclusion that you want to generate through chat gpt are first of all make sure you know the purpose of your study or the objectives the conclusion is written in light of the study objectives and what were the results so i wrote the results for each relationship okay the results revealed usr has a significant impact on up university performance here is up explained or the full form of up a significant impact or positive influence of usr on the intervening variables now here are your intervening variables the finding showed a significant and positive influence of intervening variables on university performance and finally your mediation analysis as well so the results for mediation analysis now if you have moderator or control variables you can include those as well now what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a prompt for this so first of all let me copy this open chat gpt and let's write my prompt i conducted a study with the following purpose and found the results as identified below can you provide me with a comprehensive conclusion for my study Now paste that in and press the send message. Now here is the conclusion. So you can read it and see whether it fits your research or not. Do not just copy and paste everything that these AI tools give you. Again, it is very important to understand how a conclusion is written. Only then you will be able to use this conclusion. I knew that a conclusion is written in, in light of the research questions or research objectives or the overall aim of research. Then only I was able to provide ChatGPT with the right prompt. You won't be able to do it if you do not read research papers. Thank you very much.